This is the final update on my 1350 Enterprise build. Uh, it's done. This is the Polar Lights kit with some paragraphics add-ons and a lot of uh, custom lighting. I'm going to pan around the Enterprise. did a couple of effects here. The first one is the photon torpedoes. It'll glow, flash blue, and then go out. And then the other one will fire up. I can also switch from warp to impulse. And the impulse is on, and when I switch back to warp, the crystal will go to blue, and the warps will come on. When I go back to Impulse, you'll see it swaps and the warp shut off. I did a power up sequence on this, so I'll shut all the lights off. When I turn them back on, the base will light. Five seconds later, the, the main uh, hull, then the neck, then the saucer, then these little lights in the back, the spotlights on the uh, pylons, the spotlights on the nacelles, nope, and the neck is next. There's the neck, now the nacelles. And finally, the saucer above and below will turn on. The RCS comes on last. And then the program should go into cycling mode, which will... Um, the two main effects are, you can see the strobe up here. Blinking at one rate. And the marker lights that are around the saucer blinking at a different rate. We turn the lights on uh, for, to look closer at the finish. Okay, I got all the lights on. Uh, I went with a little different finish on here. This is just the uh, inbox Aztecs on it. It's uh, a white automotive paint that I used to do the painting with, which was really nice to work with. And then the other paints are a mix of Tamiya and uh, Model Master testers um, with some inks and some other stuff. The uh, I was kind of thinking more like possibly what a real spaceship would go through, which would get it a little bit more dirty, especially around the panel lines. So I did some more weathering. Uh, half of the impetus to do the weathering was the fact that this thing took a lot of abuse during the build process and just got banged around. So I was at the point I just thought, yeah, let's try something different. So I did some weathering. I kind of took the idea a little bit from the uh, Star Wars universe where a lot of their ships are much dirtier and the Star Trek universe everything is really squeaky clean. So I decided to uh, mix it up a little bit and just put a little bit of grime on the Enterprise. I like how it came out, especially with um, everything that happened with the kit. And this is being driven by an Arduino uh, with some custom code to handle all these effects. And I'll flip it over and uh, do a quick show of the board that everything is connected to. Okay, here's the board that I created for underneath the base. Uh, I'm using um, 9 volts coming in 
and I'm running an Arduino. Basically what I did was, this is an Atmega 328 chip, which is the same as the Arduino Uno's. If you pull this chip off and match the crystal the same as the Uno, you can actually force load the uh, Arduino code into a straight Atmega. If you're interested, search the web for what they call Bearduino, and you can get the schematics for this. You do need a special programmer. You need an AVR programmer, uh, which isn't hard to get. Uh, Adafruit sells a um, programmer that's really easy to use. A little weird, but easy. Okay, I got two buttons that drive into these ports. The power's on this port, and then these connectors are all driving different effects. This one is driving the uh, lighting that's on the base. Uh, all the bases are just a single one inch strip of LED tape inside these little boxes that I printed on a 3D printer just to hide everything and to keep the light together. This board has a step down transformer to so that I can supply 9 volts to the uh, processor chip. I'm sorry, so I can supply 5 volts to the processor chips. Everything else is running at 9 volts with these three being the exception. These are 5 volt lines. One of them is running to a, um, this one in fact, is running to the landing bay sequencing lights. Uh, there's a, uh, a board that I printed inside the ship that has a um, 417 uh, decade counter in it and all I'm doing is pulsing. I'm supplying power ground and I'm just supplying a pulse that makes those cycle. These two chips are for the, uh, or these two connectors are for the photon torpedoes. These are just tied directly off of the Arduino. These are PWM. The rest of these connectors are all 9 volt supply connectors and they're driving all the lighting effects. Most of this bank is for the power on effect. Um, these are all running transistors. These are actually running a combination of relays or optical isolators depending on what I was doing, what effect I was driving. I ran into an issue when I closed up the saucer section I wasn't really thinking about the electronics I was going to do and I ran a common ground. In fact I ran this ground right here, this black wire. The problem is that ground I can't run through a transistor to make the electronics easy. I had to come up with various other ways of handling it and I did it with resi with some uh, relays or these are optical isolators and I have some of these running in parallel. This is running the strobing effects. The, um, the RCS is light up through here. The strobes and the flat and the uh, uh, blinkers, marker lights run through these as well as the main saucer dome and the floodlights that are up on the saucer dome themselves. All the other electronics that were in the body I was able to get both positive and negative and was able to do a much simpler connection through a general use transistor so that I can switch between 5 volts off the Arduino and 9 volts of my power supply. Uh, I used a lot of strip lighting in this and strip lighting is 7 to 12 volts or 7 to 14 volt. I'm running at 9. And the only way that I could have hooked these those strip lights up and driven them from the Arduino is I've got to run them at 9 volts which means I need some type of switching circuit. I chose transistors except for where I wired it wrong and had no choice but to use a relay or an optical isolator. Uh, the board, I etched the board. A lot of these wires over here that you're seeing that run on top, this is because I can only etch single layer board and I didn't have much choice. I just couldn't route everything on a single layer. And that's all my electronics. Oh, I should mention the code that's in the Arduino. This is all, uh, it's all custom, cu custom written code that I did. It's fairly simple code. Uh, timer loops, blinkers, that's it. And it's all done in, um, well, it's actually done in Visual Studios using a um, an add-in to let me compile to Arduino. And then once I compile to Arduino, I grab the hex file and I can force it down into the um, 
standalone chip. But even though it looks nothing like an Arduino Uno, this is basically an Arduino Uno. Same number of ports. I used all 19. I also used the analog pins just as digital on and offs. I could have ran through shift registers, but I was getting a little crowded on my board and I didn't I, I had enough pins to do the effect, so I just ran them straight instead of using shift registers. Although one more lighting effect and I would have had to have run registers. But it's a pretty simple setup. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to send me a message and I'll answer what I can. Thanks.